Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create stacked braid with entwined loop braids. This is my hairstyle EXO. In this channel, I will show you lots of different braids and hairstyles. Hopefully, you will like it. Next, I will take some hair away equally around the wig. I will use this hairpiece for the last braids of this hairstyle, so put it away the rest. Next, separate the hair section from the back, like this, and take equal piece from the same place on the another side. Separate the rest of the hair in two pieces. Take another piece, separate it again in two pieces, and beginning the braid, the French pistol braid by bringing the small hair strands from side over to the middle. Right over, add to the left side. Small section from left over and add to the right side. From right over to the left. From left over to the right. From right over to the left and from left over to the right. Keep on repeating this pattern. Once you've braided for a while, leave some hair out of this braid to entwine little braids. They will be on top of these two pistol braids I will create, so they will need some hair to, to continue equally from up to down. Pancake the edges of the braid. It's easier to create entwined loop braids when your base braids are a little bit bigger than it usually would be. That gives you more space to pull loops out. And especially the entwining is much more easier to do when the loops are bigger. Don't forget to leave some hair out of the fistel braid to the loop braids. And this is how the first fistel braid looks like. On the back side of the braid, there's a multiply of strands I left out. Next, I do the same braid on the left side as well. Bring the hair strands from side over to the middle and add to the another side. The more smaller sections you bring over, the more detailed your fistel braid will be. Don't forget to leave some hair strands out of this braid too. Next, I connect these two braids together with the puppy pins. After that, pull the strands you left out from the fistel braids on top. Take another section of hair. I use pins like this to determine where the braid will start. Without the pins, the beginning of the braid will easily look loose or then the braid will start from the roots of the hair. 
Then separate the hair in three eagle pieces. Start the braid French braid bringing hair ultimately over to the middle. After a few stitches, split a small section of hair from the right side and leave that small section out of the braid. Then bring the strand over to the middle and repeat the same on the left side. Leave the small piece out and bring the strand over to the middle. Then leave the small piece out of the right side. Replace that piece with the previous strand you left out and bring the strand over to the middle. Split the small piece from the left, replace it with the previous strand and bring the strand over to the middle. Split, replace it and bring the strand to the middle. Split, replace it, bring the strand over to the middle. Split, replace it, bring to the middle. Pay attention that when you replace the hair strand, you need to bring the previous strand under the new one. All the other moves are created as a French, so by bringing the hair over, but this replacement will be created as a Dutch. Pull your loops out. Make sure that inner loops reach to this point so you are capable to connect two second braids together. Continue the first loop braid until it's on the same length with the fistel braid. When you finish the first loop braid, remove the pins. Beginning the second braid just like the first one. First, place the pins. Then separate the hair in three eagle pieces. Beginning the French loop braid. Split the small section of hair from the right side, bring the strand over, then split the small section from the left and bring the rest of the strand over to the middle. Split, replace the strand, remember to bring strand under the new one, and then move the strand to the middle. Split. Now when you replace the strand on this side, Push your fingers to the topmost loop and pull the strand through that loop. Then replace the strand just like usually. Like this. 
and then mold the whole strand to the middle. Braid the right side as you usually do, split, replace and bring the strand over to the middle. Split on the left side, push your fingers through the loop and pull the strand through that loop. Then replace it and bring the strand over to the middle. Split on the right side. Replace the strand and bring the strand over to the middle. Split on the left side. Pull the strand through the loop on the other side. Replace and bring the strand over to the middle. Split. Replace. and bring the strand over to the middle. Pull the rightmost loops out of the braid. On left side, you don't need to pull them out as they leave looser because of the entwining. Then continue braiding. Split, replace it and bring the strand over. When you reach to the hair strands you left out from the freestyle braid, add the sections inside the loop braids. Continue braiding like this until the braid is on the same length as the three previous braids. Next, I show how to create accent braid like this on the side. I use the hair strands I put out on the first. Take a section of hair and separate it in three pieces. Then start to braid like a French braid. Add hair only from the left side. Right over, left over, add hair. Split the right section. Leave the strand out and bring the left strand over to the middle. Then left over, add hair. Split on the right. Replace the strand. Remember to bring the strand under the new one. And bring the strand over to the middle. Then left over, add hair. Split on the right side. Replace. Bring the strand over. Left over. Add hair. Split on right, replace, bring over. Left over, add hair. Split on right, replace, bring over. Left over, add hair. Keep on repeating this pattern. Pull the loops out from the right side. Continue the braid like this until it reaches on the beginning of the stacked braid. Now, push your fingers between the freestyle braids and pull the lace loop braids through the stacked braid. And here's the final result of this hairstyle.
Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.